Happy Friday, everybody. Mm, this is a different daily vlog. Uh, for all my regular friends that watch, um, I'm just gonna talk about YouTube stuff and talk about how my YouTube daily vlogging experience went last year. So, um, bear with me, or just skip it. We'll pick up where we left off tomorrow. I started daily vlogging January 2nd, 2020. It started off as a 30 day challenge. I wanted to challenge myself to make little stories, make little videos, make little movies. I ended up doing it for the whole year. I love the challenge of trying to come up with something every single day. It's like I'm addicted. <laughs> okay, so let's do a quick little history of daily vlogging. What's daily vlogging? Mm, typically, they're videos that sort of give you a day in the life of a YouTuber or of a person, typically. More realistically, they give you a version or a short snippet of the day in the life of the YouTuber. Somewhere around 2013, in that range, daily vlogging became a thing on YouTube. Uh, guys like Roman Atwood sort of took off doing little daily vlogs and pranks and the things he did. Uh, and then through 2015, 2016, it really took off with guys like Casey Neistat, um, uh, David Dobrik, uh, Ben Brown even. Uh, these guys sort of really gained a bit of popularity with it and sort of made it very popular to daily vlog. Here's the thing. It's 2021 now. Daily vlogging has kind of run its course. Unfortunately, um, for those of us that kind of like daily vlogging, there's not really a market for it. Why? It's nobody's fault. YouTube is a business. It's a business that's designed to make money and it's hard for them to market or try and sell advertisement to content that doesn't, um, that isn't consistent. It's not our fault. Back to me. Daily vlogging, that's what we're talking about. How did my daily vlogging experience for one year do? Let's look at my numbers. I started off the year with 55 subscribers. In 2020, I gained, well, let's look at it. In 2020, I gained 76 new subscribers and 16,375 new views. I don't know if you're keeping track at home, but I already did the math. That's a growth of 138%. I'm happy with that. I had no goal. That's, that's kind of amazing, actually. People spent 40,976 minutes watching my videos. That's insane. I did the math for that, too. That works out to, hang on, uh, that works out to 683 hours, which is 28 and a half days worth of viewing. That's nuts. That's cool. Thank you very much. I'm not bragging, but I also got uh, 2,249 likes and 757 comments, most of them positive. I appreciate that. And uh, 624 shares. 624 people thought my stuff was good enough to send off to someone else to share with a friend. That kind of makes me feel good. Two things I'd like to add. My biggest month of growth was September. Uh, it's up, can you see that? I gained 12 new subscribers. I had 1,419 views with 4,196 minutes watched. I know why that happened, because that was when we did our road trip 2020, the road to the Arctic Circle. It was a travel that we, a travel vlog that we did. It was, a, it was an amazing trip, and people watched the video. I thank you. That was our best month. That was my best month. <laughs> the other thing I'd like to add, hang on, hang on, let me put this up. The uh, most popular video that I uploaded over the course of last year, the most popular daily vlog I uploaded was My Happy Feet. Um, it's the one where I went for a pedicure. That video has 1,199 views. That's insane. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little bit creepy too. It was a fun video. So I do this because it's fun. It's kind of like a little daily journal. It's a little snapshot of my life over the course of the year. 
I share it with my friends. I hope they are entertained. I hope they like it. I don't expect them to watch. I don't expect them to like it. I don't expect them to comment. Uh, if they still like me at the end of the day, that's great. If they haven't blocked me from Facebook, that's even better. But I'm not trying to sell anything. I'm not trying to change the world. I'm just trying to entertain and have a good time. It's so much fun. It's so much fun to have the challenge of coming up with a story, trying to edit it, get it out in the morning. And when you hit that upload button and you're sending it off to so your friends or your family can watch, that is the greatest feeling of accomplishment. I have to get going. Um, Sue and I are gonna watch a movie and eat some popcorn. Cause this daily uh, being healthy thing, this cleanse thing for January, it's like, I'm so hungry. I want popcorn. So that's it for me. Hope you enjoyed the vlog. I'll see you tomorrow and um, stay positive. My name is Wayne, this is Wayne Report. Sue always says, click, like, and subscribe. Ding, ding. If you want to do YouTube videos, if you want to be a vlogger, if you want to do anything on that platform that YouTube gives you, do it. Get out, create, make stuff. It's pretty rewarding. It really is.